In this video, I'm going to show you some uh, tips for using uh, Google Collab. And um, so for those of you who are not familiar with Google Collab, it is a product of uh, Google from uh, Google Research. And it basically allows anyone to write and execute uh, Python uh, from just a browser. And it is especially well suited for uh, machine learning and data science and uh, education. So. With that being said, uh, let's get started. Uh, first, uh, we need to open the browser. So, uh, and then just type Google Collab. Hit enter. The first link here on the Google search results should be the one. And you can just click uh, the uh, the first link. Once you're here, uh, you can, you will be, uh, you will see this kind of a dialogue here. And then there are multiple tabs in here that you can choose. Uh, you can click, for example, the examples. So this is uh, some of the example provided by uh, Google Collab. So you are welcome to click some of those. And you can also open some uh, examples from your Google Drive. Uh, you can also load it from uh, GitHub. So in this video, we're just going to start using just uh, an, an example. So I'm going to just click overview of uh, Google Collab. And then it's automatically open uh, this one. But um i'm also just going to quickly show you some of the tips that we're going to use uh you can go to my um uh, uh blog and also links in the uh in the descript uh, description below you can click the link to get here uh, so my blog is uh url blog.gshub.org and then on the first one here you can click um, the link so we're we are going to go through some of these uh tips and these are some of the things that uh, I use uh, very often and some of those were taken from uh, the references in here. You are welcome to uh, look at these uh, references for more uh, tips. But these are, for example, here 13. Uh, these are the ones that I use uh, uh, very often. So I'm just going to uh, go through the list here one by one. And um, so that if you some of the uh, things you might have already be familiar, but some of those you might not. So um, Hopefully, after this video, uh, you'll be using this uh, more frequently so that you can become a powerful user or a master of uh, Google Collab. Okay, so let's get started. So first, I'm just going to uh, move uh, my uh, the, the Collab to the right and my uh, block here uh, to the left so that we can go through side by side. And in here, okay, I'm just going to close this one here. So the first one is the scratch pad uh, notebook. Um, so keep that in mind if you uh, want to start doing coding. Sometimes you just want a temporary notebook. You don't want to create one on your Google Drive. So basically, if you have a Google Drive, uh, if you click Drive, and then if you get into your Google Drive, you should be able to see this one in here. There is a folder called Collab Notebooks. If you haven't used notebook before, uh, it might be empty, but after you create a Google Collab notebook, uh, usually it, it, it will have a folder here and with an icon, um, uh, yellow color. So if you click in, uh, you might see some of those in there. If not, you can right click and then more. So from there, you should be able to see a uh, Google Collab. So I can basically create a new one in here. And this is good if you want to like save the, uh, the notebook to your uh, Google Drive, basically to your account. But if sometimes you just want to have a temporary one and then after your time you don't want to keep them uh you you might like this one so this one is so called a uh, scratch uh scratch pad notebook uh you can click the link in here let me just uh, open the link in here you can bookmark this one so let me move this one to the right if you see the url uh collab.research.google and then no uh notebooks slash empty so this is the url a every time you you can just copy if you open a new one, you will always open a new one. And this one, it won't create a new one uh, within your Google Drive. So it's good for doing testing. And then you can just type, for example, print uh, hello, and then control enter uh, to execute. So it's an easy, uh, simple way to um, open an empty notebook so you can start doing coding without saving anything to your uh, computer. Okay. So this is the first one um, and second uh, open notebooks from uh, github like i showed you earlier 
you can if you just open uh, collab talk shows let me one more time delete and hit enter so from here you can actually uh, paste the url of, uh, from any for example github uh, uh, repository if it is a notebook so we can paste the link here open in here but that might be might not be very convenient for example if i'm right now on my github repository uh, here and they say examples uh, notebooks so i have a bunch of uh, notebooks in here sometimes it, uh, you just want when you are uh, um, basically uh, navigating github you just want to open this one directly using google collab so they say maybe for example this one's number 35 and once you click this one in here uh, for my notebook i actually have this one open in google collab so you can directly open this one but for some of the notebook that you see on uh, github it might not have this icon so you need to basically uh, copy this url and then come back to here uh, paste and then you might be you just hit enter uh, it will basically go into check the repository and then you can open this one so and then for example once you hit this one and then you can, from here you can just click but there's a better way for doing this so when you are on github if you see any notebooks all you need to do is just to come to here so you will see the url something something blah 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 dot ipymb so all we need to do is come to here github.com and at the end of github just put to collect okay so all we need to do is just remember this one to collect <coughs> and then put behind uh, github after that just hit enter as you can see it automatically open this one using google uh, google collab so it's much much a faster way that you can uh, open uh, a notebook and then so they can start using this one in google collab uh, much easier uh, to do so um i do recommend this one also there's a google chrome extension if you want an extension so um you can just for example google, uh, google, google chrome and then collab uh, extension so you're welcome to install this one uh, on your uh, uh, browser so for example i haven't installed this one i can just click add to chrome uh, extension right and then you have an icon here uh let me pick this one similarly if right now if i'm on uh, google uh, uh no uh, in um, uh, github so i'm gonna come back to here so i'm on the same uh, notebook uh, on github here so all you need to do is just click this one open uh, notebook using google, uh, google collect uh, it's the same so you will see this url and so right now uh, you know like you can either github dot uh github to collect.com or you can use the chrome extension so either way it's fine um so okay next one timing execution of sale so this one is uh basically sometimes if you are executing something it might take a while so you want to know like how long does it take you can certainly use this one uh, to see the time it takes so for example after I open this notebook and you see here right now it's not connected to a, a collab here so you can just see it click a, a connect you can also execute so for this one here i'm just going to execute control uh, slash to uh, uncommon uh, list line of code so i'm going to install the gmap uh, python package and uh, you will see that it's running it's going to install all kind of uh, dependencies so it might take a while and you only need to install this one once and after that uh, you don't need that so uh, it's going to take some time but once it's done you can hover over the uh, your cursor here right and if you see right now see my cursor right uh, run sale executed in 19.901 seconds so you can see basically how long does it take to execute and then i can click this one to clear the outputs similarly i can just execute the other one and so again you can power over uh, the uh, run icon this one takes 1.6 seconds so this is how you can uh, see the time it takes to run the sale also um you can run basically uh part of a sale so in general um there are a couple of shortcuts that i'm going to see, see here for example these are the shortcuts that you use very often certainly you can click your mouse here just to execute things but you can also 
um just use the sword card so um earlier i already execute right now i can execute the other one so for this one i need to uh, go to um uh, my um Connect to my Google Earth Engine account and then I can just come back here, allow, and then copy and come back to here. I can paste, hit enter, okay, and it's automatically it's, uh, successfully uh, authenticated. Then you can, I can run this one, so right, I can run the entire block, or I can just run one of those. If you want to run the entire block, you can just hit uh, control enter on your keyboard to execute this one. So if the word control enter it's going to uh, execute the entire block so for example i just hit uh, control enter and right now you see the interactive uh, map uh, on here right you can also hot, hit the uh, alt enter um so alt enter basically will create a new cell um, beneath uh, what you just created so like i said in here right if you control enter there's nothing uh beneath here so if i hit alt enter after execute you're going to create a new uh, cell blocks uh, beneath you can also hit uh, uh, shift enter so control enter basically just execute this code block but the cursor remains uh, uh, still in this block if i use a, sh a shift enter then it's going to move your cursor to the next one okay so uh, you can still execute then let's come back back to earlier to this one here one part of a cell right so let me maybe come back to here. I can write just like print, uh, let's say print uh, line one, and I can have another one called print uh, line two, right? So if I hit uh, shift enter or control enter, it's going to run the entire code block. So all the lines within this code uh, will be executed. Sometimes if you just want a specific line, I can just uh, select this one and then control shift enter so control shift enter you will just execute this line so um you can also just select this one and then go to one time run selection so you see the keyboard uh shortcut in here one selection right so this time only runs the line one um, so those are the com common ones that uh, you might want to use similarly there are some like uh, other shortcuts that you can use um in jupyter notebook if, if you are familiar with uh, jupyter notebooks you might already uh, use some of those shortcuts, but keep that in mind. Uh, these shortcuts are very similar with the Jupyter Notebook, but these shortcuts are different. So uh, in Jupyter Notebook, all we need to just uh, use uh, A or B, uh, you can insert a cell above or below. But in uh, Google Collab, you need to have Control M. So uh, hit Control M, and then if you hit A, it will create a new cell above. So for example, right now, I'm on this uh, cell block. I want to create another one above. So all I need to do is just control, uh, control M and then A. So control M, A. Right? So you have a new one above. Similarly, I can hit control M and B. So control M, B, uh, you will create a new one beneath. So in that way, you don't have to um, click your mouse. So it will become much, much faster. You can also switch between call and markdown. So if you see from these two types in here, you can either create a call sale or a, a markdown sale. If something you already create, you can also make changes. So if you want to change this, so right now this one is a call sale. Um, if you change this one, if you want to change this one to a markdown, all we need to do is just uh, control M and then M again. So control M, M. As you can see, right now this one changes to just markdown. So uh, we we'll talk about more about Markdown uh, later. If you want to change it back to uh, code, uh, you can just uh, Control M and Y. So Control M Y, uh, it comes back to uh, code, so that you can just execute this. Right. So these are some very handy shortcuts uh, you want to use. If you want to learn more all the shortcuts, uh, you you can also do that. Go to uh, Tools, and then Keyboard Shortcuts. So these are all kind of shortcuts that um, you probably don't need to remember all of, of them. But uh, I highly suggest that you just uh, keep in mind of these um, eight shortcuts. Uh, it will make your coding much more uh, efficient. Okay, so uh, that's about shortcuts. And the next one is about uh, cl uh, class definition. So sometimes when you're doing the coding, you might be wondering how you can, uh, if you want to 
uh, get, see the definition of a specific class, you can just use a, a press control on your keyboard and then just click the name of the class. So in this case, right, uh, we use uh, the GMAP uh, package. So the map, this one is a class. So all I need to do is just put your cursor uh, in here and then just uh, hit control. Uh, control and then click. Oop. So it looks like this one uh, doesn't work. Let me see in here. Uh, if it, okay, yeah, it works. So as you can see, control and then click your mouse. Uh, you should navigate to the definition of uh, the class. So you can see black one from uh, the right here. This is all the definitions. So you basically you can see the source code uh, of uh, each individual uh, class. So it's very handy uh, if you uh, want to use it. <laughs> Next one, run base commands. And this is also very useful, especially uh, if you want to find out some, uh, install some additional packages. So, but first of all, uh, first of all, you might want to see what kind of packages already being installed um, on uh, in Google Collab. So, there's a command that you can use. So, in this case, I'm going to use some of the shortcuts that they used earlier. I'm going to add a cell above. So, all you need to do, Control M, and then A, right? So, you add a new one. In order to run base commands, you need to put exclamation at the beginning, and then if you type pip. Uh, list and then alt enter so this one is going to show you all the packages right now uh, already installed in this notebook so uh, you will see the long list it's a lot okay so if you could scroll up and down there's a lot of our packages uh, already being installed right now uh, in here so um because we install the gmap packages uh packages earlier so it also installed a bunch of other dependencies but just let you know if you want to check what kind of package is already being installed, you can see this one. So uh, very nice. You also have a GDAO already uh, installed and also a uh, Folium. Okay, so this is how you can check the packages. If you want some additional package, then you can just use exclamation install to install something from a uh, pipe uh, PI. So um, for example, I can just pip uh, exclamation pip install. And they say, for example, NumPy. NumPy is probably already installed uh, in here. You will just say uh, requirements already satisfied. So you will welcome to install any other additional packages uh, if needed. So just exclam exclamation pip and then install. You can also git clone uh, something from GitHub, right? So if you find a GitHub repository that you want to put something uh, into the Google Collab and so they can use that, uh, you, so you can do that as well. So click the files icon, right? So this is the current working directory. You can git clone to something to here. So let me show you uh, one more time. So I can go to my GitHub repository, uh, the GMAP. Then I can click code. I can click the uh, GitHub uh, uh, repository uh, URL. Then I can come back to here. So, and just type exclamation, git clone. And then paste the URL. So this is the Git uh, repository URL. Then you can hit Alt Enter or Control Enter to um, clone the entire repository. So uh, as you can see, you might need to refresh. And once you refresh, you will see this one here. So this is a very handy way that you can clone anything from GitHub. So uh, and it can be any repository that you like. So it can. And then you can see, for example, uh, you can also take a look at the examples. You can also utilize, for example, the sample data that you want. So uh, give you a way that you can copy the data. You can also, for something that you can use a uh, wget. Uh, so git clone is basically you are copying something from a GitHub repository. But if you want something directly from a URL, you can also do that as well. So uh, for example, I can show you, let's say, if I have any uh, zip file in here or not. So data. And if you just want a specific file, let's say a CSV, for example, uh, maybe try the other one. Yes, maybe just TXT, for example. If I just want this file, I don't need the entire GitHub repository. You can go to here and then click the raw button. Once you click the raw button, you will see this is the URL that you need. So I'm just going to copy. And then come back to here. So in this case, I, I can just copy just one file. So all you need to do use exclamation w get. So exclamation w get, and then paste the URL. 
uh, you might need to see the entire URL and then just hit alt enter uh, it's going to copy this one to your uh, current working directory again you might need to refresh so it's, it's here right and then you can if you want you can click you can use this one directly in your uh, uh, source code okay so those are about the base uh, commands and next i show you how to mount your google drive so uh, you can sometimes you have some data so stored on your google drive you want to use that directly you there are two ways so first uh, you can either you just uh, mount google drive so take a look at this one once i hit mouse um, click the icon it will automatically generate this one so if you see this one here uh, it's the same as i put this one uh, in here so all you need to do is just to click this one and then it will ask you to authorize so i'm just going to click the uh, link and then from here let me just go, uh, allow again copy the this one and come back to here paste once it's successfully uh, uh authorized you should be able to see this one uh from here so uh it might take some time okay then we can refresh once you um uh refresh you should see this one my drive so share drive and also my drive so and then if you have any data stored on your google drive then you should be able to see uh that one you can and then you can use the url uh, of that specific uh, file to um you can also copy this one to your drive so i can for example i can move this one and if you uh refresh you see now the file comes to my uh google drive so this is a way that you can store the data because otherwise after you close the, this one everything uh, under here will be gone so but things that you save to your drive uh it will be permanent so it, it it's it's get, it gets into your google drive so for example if you want to see this file uh, you can go to your google drive and so this is the one right it's already saved to your account so uh, it's permanent and uh, this is the way that you want to save data so you can drag and drop data in and out of your google drive okay so next one how to upload a file from your computer so there are a couple ways you can do that you can also click the icon right so here's the icon here you can click upload a file and then you can select that one somewhere for example uh, select anything you want so i can just for example copy uh open um uh, remind the file will get deleted when uh this one time is recycled so i hit ok and the file is already here but you can also use the uh python source code to actually to copy and um, um to upload data so you can just copy this one and then you can come back to here paste then i can hit uh, control enter or alt enter so once you execute this one uh you it will show you uh, uh, uh some icons in here so a button you can just click the button and to upload something so i can click this one select open uh it's automatically going to be transported to your google drive you can also see the progress bar in here uh, and once it's done it's going to come up uh in here okay so this is a nice way that you can uh, upload data just using the source code because uh, if you are developing some tutorial you might want to use this one you won't allow you want to allow users to upload data then you use the source code rather than uh, having to provide instruction uh, asking the users to click the button so uh, it's better so okay uh, it's done and uh, we can refresh now you see these two files in here okay so this is how you can upload data similarly you might want to download some data from a uh, uh, google collect and there are also two ways so first you can just come to here and click the three dots then you can just download the file uh, if you hit click uh, download and you will see the uh, the spinning here this one shows you how long it's still running and now it's being downloaded to my um, uh, downloads folder so directly you can also use source code so uh, i can just copy this one come back to here paste right so in here for example if i want to download this one i can just come here and i can click this one copy pass because if you're trying to download a file you need to know where this file is located in the cloud so uh, if you click file pass then then you come back to here oh uh, no this one download so come back to here and then change this one paste okay so this is content and then this is the file after that uh, you can hit one uh, it's going to going through the same process 
to zip the file and then download this one to your computer so you can also see the progress bar in here okay it's being downloaded so this is nice way that you can transport data from your computer and also download the data from uh, google drive okay next one uh, run our programs in google collab so as you can see google collab is for uh, by default is for doing python uh, programming but you can also use r so uh, if you go to they say here runtime uh, change runtime type and this is for if you want to use gpu so for machine learning you might want to use gpu if you if you need it and so for us we are going to here for our users uh, you can directly google uh, go to the url collab doc 2 and then slash r so i'm going to open this one in here just to show you uh, it might take a couple seconds and this one right now is using the r runtime uh, if you want to see you can runtime uh, change runtime type and this one right now you can switch between python and r so this is also a nice way if you want if you are teaching or if i want to if you want to test some uh, python uh, source code lastly uh, you can add open in collab base uh, in your markdown so the, or notebook so anyone using google drive or, or Jupyter notebook should be able to click just this one and then to open it directly so right now if i just click this one it's open directly using google collab just like what i show you earlier using uh for example my gmap uh, package and so if you go to examples uh, notebooks if you click any notebook example so actually i have this one so this page in here open in google collab so if you just open you will open this one using google collab so it, basically you make the work uh make uh the work easier for all your readers so if they want to open in collab you provide this icon so how do you actually do that uh, actually very simple so uh, you can just copy this one and so this is using markdown you have a square brackets and also the uh, parentheses so square brackets is the content you want to show and the square break uh, the uh, parentheses is where you want to read direct uh, to and so this is the URL and basically you can keep this one the same all you need to do is just change this one to your uh, github email so for example if i double click this one you should be able to see this one exactly like this so uh mine is slightly different but i can show you here let me add a new whole block uh just to show you how you can add that button so i'm just going to come to here and then copy paste All right so once it paste you will see this one but right now this is directly to the uh google collab uh, examples if you want to redirect to for example this uh, uh uh here i can for example this is the notebook example i want uh users to open in google Color. i can just copy this one copy come back to here and then i can just paste this url in here but uh if you right now open this one it's going to open to go to google collab so this is not what you want you want this one so i can just change this one uh, github.com change to github to collect okay so right now if you try this one so to collect so this is the you want the user to go to so right now if i click this one open x open this one in google collect so this is a nice way that you can um, add these buttons and so users don't have to change that uh, by themselves if, it, if they don't know how to use a uh, collect so uh, make the life easier uh, for others okay so uh, i think that's all the certain uh, tips that i'm going to show you but uh, there are certainly more that you can utilize for example you can also let me come back to this one here you can take a look at the uh, memory and hard drive uh, provided to you in this uh, collab section so if you click this one you will see here we, uh, uh, we use memory uh, on 0.84 gigabyte but it has available 12.72 uh, gigabyte also the this uh drive uh 32 gigabyte uh, but we have a total of about 107 gigabyte available uh also you can see this one here the your the disk right so if you're using a lot of data you will see this one it eventually returns to uh green co uh, red color so just showing you that, that you you're almost using up all the memory you can also uh upload this one directly to github so let's say you open a scratch pad and if you have done something you want to save this one to either to your google drive 
you can if you want you can just copy to google drive and you will save this uh, to your drive you can also directly save this one to github so i can just for example uh you will open uh, uh, um and then ask you to authenticate right uh, you can save this one to uh, your github account um this is if you want to do that on the left side here you can also see uh this is some snippets uh, so if some of the common ones uh, you should be able to see this one directly select and you can copy this or you can insert and you will see this one here insert on, on, on as a collab uh, sale and then so you can use directly you can also do the searching if you want so uh you can also have the table content uh depends on what you have here uh in this example if you have some markdown and this is level two then you should be able to see the table content on the left side uh in here and you can also change the runtime type like i said earlier if you require gpu or uh, tpu when you are doing machine learning or deep learning uh, you can uh, request uh, this uh, gpu or cpu uh, if you want and lastly uh, you can sometimes if you want to for example execute uh, ex execute uh, loads are cold sale uh, you might want to execute uh, this two like uh above one above and one uh, beneath right so one before one after so uh, if you just want to run something above here and then you use the one above uh, or before or after so these are something that you can um utilize you can also change the order so you can move this one up and down uh, if needed so up down down right you can also delete so um depends on what you need okay so uh that's all for this uh video i hope you enjoy this uh tutorial and uh, so you can use that uh load some of the uh, tips um more often and to become a power user of uh, google collab okay so that's all i hope to see you in my next video okay